know, Moby, it's not time for lunch yet. Look at the clock. How can you tell time? When you tell time, you look at the little hand first. That's the hour hand. The hour hand is on the nine. Next, you look at the big hand. That's the minute hand. The minute hand is on the 12. So the time is exactly 9 o'clock in the morning. O'clock means of the clock. We go to the computer lab at 10 o'clock and go to the library at 11 o'clock. Uh, Moby... Those aren't our bags. How do you write the time? Now the time is three o'clock. I can write three o'clock using words or write it using numbers and words. I can also write the time using only numbers. Well, First, I write the hour, so that's three. Then I add a colon to separate the hours from the minutes. Finally, I write how many minutes are past the hour. It's exactly three o'clock, so there are zero minutes past the hour. You write the time to two places, so I write zeros in the ones place and the tens place. Hmm, how does time change from one hour to the next? We've got to wait one hour for the lasagna. Well, there are 60 minutes in an hour. And it's 5 o'clock now. It takes 60 minutes for the minute hand to go all the way around while the hour hand moves from the 5 to the 6. So the lasagna will be done at 6 o'clock. Wait a minute. Now I'm a little confused. Well, there are 24 hours in the day, but there are only 12 numbers on a clock. Right, Moby. The hour hand goes around the clock twice in one day. That's why we have an 8 o'clock in the morning and an 8 o'clock at night. 12 o'clock at night is called midnight because it's in the middle of the night. 12 o'clock during the day is called noon. Hey, it's noon now. Grab your lunchbox, Moby. Let's go. Uh, Moby, what was that? 